the two ways that I heat water um, to degrease or macerate is fish tank heaters and sonosphias machines. Um, what I do is use old coolers because I do this out in my garage slash shop, which is not heated. It's 30 degrees here in Michigan right now. Uh, the coolers help, they, they'll help hold the heat so you're not running as much power. You can do a bucket and then insulate the bucket, stuff like that. Um, but this one's some skulls degreasing. There's a fish tank heater right here set to 90 degrees. Uh, that's the hottest most fish tank heaters will get is 88, 90 degrees right around there. This works just fine. Um, you know, this is a beaver skull that I'm working on. Uh, this one actually just went in degreasing yesterday. There's a beaver in there and then some muskrats. Uh, this one's a few weeks or eh, probably a week or two in the process. You can kind of see the color starting to change. This, the liquid in this one's probably four or five days old. It's a day or two out of needing to be changed. The second way that I heat water is a Sonus Vias machine. Um, I think I have three or four of these set up right now and then three or four fish tank heaters. The nice thing about these is you can set the temperature anywhere in the degreasing range, you know, 90 to 120 degrees, which it's safe to degrease most uh, large mammal skulls all the way up to 120 degrees, no pro problem. You're not going to hurt a bear skull by doing that or a deer. Or, you know, right now I think I have two or three beavers in this one, five or six muskrats. Uh, a mink, a couple of squirrels, a little bit of everything. I use the plastic Ziploc bag so I don't have to waste as much Dawn or ammonia. Uh, the water in the bucket is just water, transferring heat to the bags. The bags have the uh, degreasing mixes in them. Works pretty good. So the two other ways you will see people uh, heat for degreasing and maceration is uh, bucket heaters, like what you see in front of you here. Uh, this is a heater that you drop in the water and uh, it, it heats the water up. Then the other one is uh, another method that people use is heat lamps, like you see here. These heat lamps, what, what a lot of people will do is they'll use an old uh, like chest freezer and they'll put heat lamps in it to heat water they have in the freezer. And then they put their skulls in buckets that they put in the water. Both of these styles require some form of a digital temperature controller that will turn the unit on and off when it gets to the correct temperature. I don't do either of these styles. Um, a lot of people do. These both uh, are more prominent if you're doing a ton of skulls where this is more of a hobby for me. Um, I just use the Sonus View and fish tank heaters. As someone that's new to this or doesn't want to invest a lot of money or uh, energy into it. I, I feel the fish tank heater really is the safest bet. Um, the fish tank heaters won't get above 90 degrees unless you modify them um, so that they're fairly safe. You, you, you know, you can use a fish tank heater anywhere, basically. I mean, if you're just degreasing, I mean, you could do it in your basement in the house, really, and, you know, in a bucket or a fish tank or a cooler or anything like that because 90 degrees isn't terribly hot. Um, especially if you're just degreasing with Dawn. Uh, I degrease with ammonia, sometimes ammonia and Dawn. Um, degreasing with ammonia, I, I would like it to be outside, you know, it's, it's in my garage. That way you're not uh, having to smell it. Um, the Sonus View that I use, uh, those work really well as well. 
The nice thing about them is they are temperature controllable above 90 degrees. So you can bring it all the way up to 120 degrees, which in most situations will decrease faster. Um, with that being said though, the Sonus Fuse machines, um, they cause a lot of water evaporation. So you have to do it outside or in a garage because it can cause mold. That, that's one of the reasons why I say a fish tank heater is probably the easiest place to start. Uh, at 90 degrees, you're not gonna be steaming off water constantly, causing tons of water to get in the air. Uh, and they're really simple, cheap units, uh, pretty easy to operate. I hope it helps.